water. It's yoga this time. The wife thinks we ought to look after ourselves. Relax a bit more. Don't have too much caffeine. Well, that's no problem with Cafe Hark. And now they've even improved the flavour. Mmm, smashing. Try it. Now it's richer, really smooth. This relaxation thing looks too much like hard work. I think I'll stick with Cafe Hog. New richer Cafe Hog. When coffee tastes this good, who needs caffeine? Ready, good, good, ready, good, lush, nice, sponge, smooth, plain, juggling, and smashing, juggling, all the demons. Munchkins. They know only McFitties bake the terrific taste of the original Jabba Cakes. <laughs> so that over the moon about them. Only McFitties bake the original Jabba Cakes. I've stopped using April Fresh Lenore because I found a new conditioner that smells more natural. Let me smell it. I don't believe it. I wouldn't change. I prefer using Lenore. The softness is nice. The smell is the most important thing to me. Here, smell this. Oh, this is beautiful. It smells very, very fresh. What is it? Lenore. New, improved April freshness, Lenore. You're glad you didn't have to change? Absolutely. New April fresh Lenore. Smells more natural than ever before. There is an oil which is continually being developed to keep pace with the latest in engine design. So no matter how you drive your car, you can be confident that there is one moving part in your engine designed to protect all the others. Castrol GTX, liquid engineering. Fit it in your engine. to Stunt Challenge 85. The chase continues, and in the spiral now for our fifth stunt, we have former Speedway star Lex Malloy, who is about to be confronted by the sort of obstacle he never encountered on the Speedway track. Our escaping spy is not only under severe pressure from the one remaining car in the chase, but also faces big trouble ahead. Unbelievable. That's brilliant. Unbelievable. It's great. That strap's off, okay? No. Taking this off. No, there's another, another, another one here. Let me have a look. Okay, Lex. Stay behind you, Bib. Don't get Stand back. He's, just... He's Scottish. He's all right. He's Tough Scottish. He's all right. <laughs> he comes from Wales. <laughs> How are you doing down there? All right. Let's just ease that off. Any pain anywhere, Lex? Everywhere. Everywhere. My arms, my legs, my back. My back. <laughs> but I think I'll be okay. I'm ready to go again. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Right there. That's it. You want to ease yourself up? Yeah. Ready? All right, just sit up. Just get him up. All right. Well done, well done Lex. Well done. Well done. Don't go too fast. You're falling over the place in it. What sort of speed were you doing when you hit the ramp? I'd lie if I'd say in 100, but it'd be somewhere between there and 50, I would think. It looked pretty quick. Yeah. It did. And you totally took all the breath out? Yeah, completely. Yeah, completely. What a way to earn a living. It's a great way to earn a living. <laughs> <laughs> this was the moment when Lex had all the breath knocked out of him as he parted company with his bike. bones broken there, Lex, but you've uh, broken a few in the past, haven't you? Yeah, my leg four times, my ribs more times than I can remember, my wrists, back at the lower back twice, many more I can't even remember about now. But, but thankfully I've got a super guy who looks in after me in Scotland, a guy called Carlo Biaggi, uh -huh. the bone surgeon supremo, or the sub one as we call him. 
And I was just ready to give him the call before I did this one, <laughs> just to be prepared. What was that feeling like, though, when you got jerked back there? Incredible. Yeah. Incredible. It was like a giant stood on me. <laughs> <laughs> that bad? Yeah. Yeah? That's why you call yourself the original bionic man? Yeah, yeah. Well, I got plenty of metal in me, but nothing else works too well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not asking you to give any trade secrets away, but how much planning went into that? How many people involved? An awful lot. An awful lot of people. Well, say 20 anyway. Uh -huh. But thankfully, I've got a terrific stunt arranger on the job, Greg, Greg Powell. And, of course, Dave Vickers, who rigged it, who has like the best ever fantastic but you've had a bit of experience on motorbikes i mean you were a former top speedway rider just a touch just a touch <laughs> one of the best i mean how did you get into the stunt world uh i suppose it's natural progression uh i knew i couldn't go any further in the speedway world uh i'd been riding for around about 10 years and out of that 10 years i spent about eight of them in hospital so i thought well well <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought, well, I've got to do something. I love this kind of business, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, I suppose I'm a bit extroverted, like speedway riders are, you know? Or most of them are, stunt guys are the same. And, uh, you know, you've got to assert yourself in this life, and, you know, I'm doing it now. Listen, uh, just breaking in there, because uh, television viewers may have seen one of your more painful moments as a stuntman. You took a rather nasty knock when performing this stunt in the practice. I won't be taking advantage of it. I mean, you could have a wife or something to take the cause. I've got no one. Ah, that's of course I could borrow a film, huh? Eh? Oh, I'd love to have you with your people. quite a bashing there, didn't you? Yeah, I fractured uh, the bottom of my back. Mm. Not terribly badly, but uh, I ended up going to... An, I didn't know I did it at the time, and I went to an osteopath to see about it. She jumped about my back and ended up paralysing my left leg. Oh. So then I went to the hospital and realised I'd fractured the bottom of my back. Good heavens. Yeah, she put the muscles into spasm. I know you're a great uh, admirer of that other bionic man, Barry Sheen, and uh, you took this fall for him in the reconstruction of the crash that nearly cost him his life. How many people took part in that stunt? Uh, Tip Tipping, who's a very, very capable performer. He did the takeoff and mm. I did the landing. Oh, the two of you? Yes. Not yes. the same rider? Yeah, no. And how, how did you get shot across the floor? Uh, by very, very large guys, actually physically thrown down the track. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. But I also did the crash which caused Barry to have the bad accident. Really? Yeah. <laughs> the goody and the baddie all in one. Yeah, that's me. Well done today. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Anyway, Lex Malloy, a top performer. Mm. Now let's take another look at the high-flying contribution he's made to Stunt Challenge 85. <laughs> down one to go and the sixth and final stunt was to have been performed by the unlucky rocky taylor greg powell rocky's great friend has volunteered to switch from his original stunt in this the sixth and final part of our stunt sequence let's see what greg powell the reigning stunt challenge champion can do this year in the stunt that was prepared for rocky Lovely, lovely. Beautiful, that one. Okay. Okay. You got a what, Greg? Leave the helmet out. You had a tenalty, Greg. It split the side of your crash helmet. Is it really? Yeah. You split your crash helmet? Yeah, it looks better on the seat. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let, let me just get... If I'll do this table, get out of it, because I'm a bit crossed up here for a minute. Okay. Come on, Put this helmet off, Greg. No, leave it off for a minute. Hang on. Can you take my gloves off? Yep. Thank you. 
Let's have a look at the crash helmet. Well done. Well done. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's all blacked out for that minute, you know, in that, in that um, trailer. Yeah. And you can see it all coming down to the final front bar. I was expecting it to just catch yeah. and go over, you know what I mean? Onto its roof or something, but it just stayed there. Probably got in the grass and just held it still. It was a It's all right, got a bit of ground in there. Was wasn't too bad. Rocky right. would have been proud of that. Oh, Rocky. Well, it was Rocky's job, you know. Uh, unfortunately, Rocky's not here because of the scene accident. Yeah. And I've got this job on because Graham had to take Marjorie over. But um, I wish Rocky had been able to do it, but one of those things in it but what's it like driving blind into something like that well it was all right driving into it because it's not so blind going into it it's just when you you actually hit it because everything's covered up but just everything goes clear then suddenly you see daylight again when your saw was in caught the ground coming down but i was expecting a bit more after that yeah but you know it's a good wreck isn't it <laughs> i told you i wrecked some mowers no, <laughs> <laughs> what about the old man here no shit hey come here no shit he didn't do badly did he well, no, I think a terrific job, terrific job. Or is that, that sort of job, anything can happen. You see how far you clear these people away from it. Look, you see where he's finished up, 200 feet from the uh, from the articulator. I think a very professional job. I'm very proud of him. Are you glad it's over, Dad? Oh, my God. Leave me alone. Give me a light now. <laughs> this was Greg's view of the awesome double obstacle of a porter cabin and an articulated lorry. Well, Greg, as well as uh, competing this year, you've also been arranging the stunts. How do you think they've got? I think everyone has performed excellent this year. It's been uh, fantastic. Mm. All the stunts all work well and everyone's safe. That's the, that's the main thing. What about Dorothy Ford's stunt? I mean, you're as excited about it as, as almost as if you'd done it yourself. Dorothy Ford's stunt, in my, in my mind, was the best car stunt I've ever seen. And it, it frightened me when she hit that ramp. It, it frightened me terribly. Mm. I think it was the greatest thing I've ever seen. But Greg, I think you want to make the point that stunt work is all about teamwork. Teamwork, it definitely is, because uh, on all the gags we've been doing this week, everyone's been chipping in, doing their little pieces and uh, helping out, you know. It, it makes a better job at the end of it if everyone helps each other, definitely. I mean, somebody like Dave Vickers in the background makes Dave, it easy for you. Dave Vickers is a great asset in the background. He makes everything safe for you. Uh, I could never know one better working with me at all. You seem to have thrived on, on arranging the stunts. Is this going to play a more prominent part in your future? Oh, hopefully, because I don't want to do stuff. <laughs> I'd sooner stand behind the camera and uh, arrange the stuff, yes. I'd like to. Because, I mean, it's a lot more work. You've got to get here early and <coughs> leave last. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it, 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 the thing I noticed this week with all the sort of uh, work we've been doing is that it, it, you're very nervous yourself for the people who's actually performing the stunts. I think probably just as nervous as them. Mm. But, uh, you know, it, it's good. Listen, what do you prefer, horses or, or cars? Because you, you used to be a great horseman. You know, what do you prefer? Uh, it's very hard. I, I enjoy riding and doing doing the work on horses. Cars, always, I can't, uh, there's no difference to me, really. Mm -hmm. I enjoy both. Well, we've got an example of you combining both horse powers. It was in the film Sahara, yeah. where you jumped a car on a horse. Entry after that. On a shower horse, maybe. <laughs> Not on one of your songs. Not the way. Anyway, Greg, we've got a clip here of your sensational stunt last year, the spectacular lorry roll. Remember the camera we put inside the cab with camera, you? Yeah. That's right. Tell us what it was like. Talk us through those final moments. Well, just after I switched on, you remember I put my thumbs up. Yeah. And I think that was more out of nervousness than uh, anything else. And the final approach was just, everything was fine, you know. Uh, the only thing what did, really did frighten me is when I went up the ramp. We had the green vehicle, which was parked across it, seemed to come right through the cabin. And I was just, oh, you know, it was, that, that was a shock, but it was fine. Well, did you keep the eyes open, or were they shut? I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what happens. It, it, when you start until you're finished, I don't really know. I'd like to think I do. But, Greg, I think we should stress the point that if any children are watching, they must not try any of these stunts. Strictly for professionals, please don't try any of the gags that we're doing at all, or any other gag they see on television. Wait till they're older, left school, and they know what really they want to do. Then give us a telephone call, or any one of the boys or girls.
Thanks, Greg. I'll let you go and cast your vote now for the Stunt Challenge champion of 1985 while we have another look at your over-the-top performance. Now, before announcing the winner of Stunt Challenge 85, let's see our stunt team at work in the completed sequence. stunt artists and our producers have decided which is the best stunt. They've judged them for skill and execution and all six artists will receive a special silver tankard as a memento and the winner will get that £2,000 first prize. And the winner, the Stunt Challenge 85 champion is Dorothy Ford. Yeah. Come on Dorothy. Hey, hey. Well done. Congratulations. Terrific. Did you expect that? No. <laughs> First woman ever to win it. Yes, but it's all team. They, they all deserve to win. Ah, that's nice. Anyway, come on, let's get your prize. Mr. Peter Dimelo, the marketing manager of Triton Showers, now presents the trophy. <laughs> Terrific. Well done. And Dorothy, there's also a cheque for £2,000. Ah, yes. Um... This we're going to give uh, to Rocky Taylor, who has uh, always been in your shows before, yeah. and also to the ch uh, to the hospital at St Thomas's. That is marvellous. Well so, done. It's half each, I think. I think they're giving it. That's marvellous. Well done. Enjoy the champagne. <laughs> so there you have it, Stunt Challenge '85, and we'll leave you with one more look at the combined skills of the stunt men and women who work at the double and put life and limb on the line every time those cameras roll. Believe me, they really are a breed apart. Ooh. Hello. Hi, little boy. Hey, thank. Oh no, hang on. I've seen the way you two sure. drive. I'd rather walk. Thanks. Please yourself. I'd be by 
your side Your best friend just told me how high you fly In America's Death Valley, the Wild West legend lives, but there's terror the tourists never see. I got it, Harry. 